welcome back to my channel coding school as part of this video we will learn how to reverse a given number using a recursive approach there is no specific definition to define what is reverse of a number but we will see like in simple terms like what exactly is reverse of a number to make it more clear so a number is said to be a reverse number if we read the input value in a backward direction so we do have a mathematical logic to compute the reverse of the number. So we will see that programmatically. So some of the examples are like the input value is 1, 2, 3. Then the reverse number is obviously reading in the backward direction 3 to 1, which is the actual output. Let's see how we can implement the same using the job from. I'm switching back to Eclipse editor. Creating the Java. And selecting some to certify name with that. Reporting scanner. Total package. Creating an instance for the scanner. Putting a message in the console. Which of the user variable and reading the user value from the stream. Then value is less than or equal to zero. So we can print and parameter message on the console. Please enter a value number. Then we will perform the actual logic. Let's write it. If n value is less than 10, so that means it's a single digit. So simply we can print the value directly. And Make sure that you are only invoking session dot out dot print remove the LM because we want all the digits to be displayed in a single line, not in a separate separate line. Session dot out dot print and n percent at time. Let's call this particular method. We will also print on a method here. Also remove LM so that we will see a string value followed by the value in a single line. Select from this program. Let's try with an edit scenario. Please enter a valid number because this condition is checking whether the given number is valid or not. Otherwise, we don't need to compute the reverse value at all. Again. Five three two one five one two 
So as I said earlier, if you are using a print TLN here, you will see the different stuff. So whatever you are seeing here, it will be printing in a separate line. And also I'm saying print TLN. So that is the first value is printed in one time because there we are using the land method and for it, each and every digit that we're using the land method means got in a separate line and don't use the land method in this scenario. Thanks for watching the video. In case if you are having any questions, please do let me know in the comment section below. Please like the video and share it with your friend. Also subscribe to my channel. If you are looking for an explicit program, please do let me know. I will try to make the video as early as possible for you. Thank you once again. Bye.